Hello everyone, my name is Brad Keen. Uh, many times I have heard uh, some atheists say that even if something were to appear in front of them, they would have a difficult time believing uh, in a God. Uh, even if a manifestation of Jesus Christ, just like what you see in the pictures at a Catholic church were to appear in front of them, they would have to question their own sanity. Now, a lot of religious people stamp their foot and they get all aggravated and stressed out and say, See, see, even if God showed up in front of you and he tried to prove himself, you wouldn't believe nonetheless. Well, I think that that's an unfair assessment, and I can tell that whenever the Christian says this, or a Muslim, that they are being intellectually dishonest. Let me explain why. I'm going to share with you a very short story, and I would like to see how you react to it how you think that the story should go. One day, an atheist is sitting in his home and he's watching TV, probably the Discovery Channel or probably the uh, Science Network, something of this, uh, maybe he's watching sci-fi, maybe he's watching his favorite atheist, the Pope of Atheism, Richard Dawkins, uh, talking about evolution or biology, who knows? The point is, is that he's sitting there minding his own fucking business, and all of a sudden, this light comes into his room where he's watching television and illuminates the walls, uh, just completely so bright that there's absolutely no shadows, no nothing. Just this bright light, and the man, who is an atheist, who is staring right at this manifestation. All of a sudden, the manifestation claims that it is God, and... The man says, how do I know that you're God? Well, all of a sudden, the manifestation turns itself into, um, let's say, makes itself look like Muhammad, or it makes itself appear to look like Jesus Christ. Just like what religious people have always claimed that Jesus may look like by their portraits and what they've uh, painted of Jesus Christ. Well, the atheist decides, okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to believe that this is, in fact, a God standing in front of me, giving the proof and evidence that I require in order to discontinue being the non-believer or the atheist. Well, the voice tells the atheist that the reason why I've come to you is because I wanted to prove myself, I wanted to show you that I exist, that I do care about you, that I do love you, and I am here for you. <clears throat> I care about all the problems that you've ever had, and I care about all the positive things that you've done. And all throughout your life, I have guided you. I have guided you in your thoughts and in your thinking. I've also protected you in many different horrible situations. <clears throat> well, what happens is, is that the more and more the atheist listens to this manifestation that claims to be Jesus Christ or Muhammad or whatever pagan deity that someone believes in, he is more and more intrigued and entrenched and more and more convinced without a doubt that this in front of him is in fact a God. Well, all of a sudden, after hours of speaking with this manifestation that no one else sees or hears because the man is alone with this manifestation or vision, as you would call it, it then turns around and says, I love you and I care about you and I have a mission for you. And the man goes, okay, what, do you, what would you like me to do? Um, what, what is it that you're interested in me doing, God? Well, he then tells the man, this God, this figure, tells the man, you know how in the Bible where I tell people to go into different cities and wipe out men, women, and children? You know how I said repeatedly in the Bible that I bring wrath and destruction, and sometimes I have men carry out atrocities and genocide in my name? Due to the fact that I'm angry because people idolize statues or engraven images when I told them not to? You know all the times that I told people that I don't like sin, that I hate sin, like in Psalms 5.5? 5, 5. And the atheist goes, yeah, yeah, I'm listening. You know that I have had a reputation for destroying and killing things and stuff uh, because I felt that it was the only way to do things. I am God, so my way is absolutely right. Do you agree? The atheist goes, yes, if you are in fact God and you've created all things, then surely um, you, are, you have a certain right to what you can do with your own creativity or, or your own... Uh, 
desires as a God. You are the leader, you're the boss of the universe. So what is it that you want me to do, God? The God says, here's what I want you to do. I want you to wipe out the entire city of Los Angeles, and then after that I want you to go directly down to Missouri and destroy all of St. Louis, Cal, every man, woman, and child. And then after that I want you to travel to a place I call the Promised Land that is called New York. Uh, where you'll find the Statue of Liberty. Uh, it's a wonderful place at times, but lately it's become Babylon. Uh, there's people out there who are sinning, who are disbelieving in me. There's people out there that no matter what I do or no matter what I say, they continue to commit fornication, adultery, homosexuality, and everything under the sun, just like in Sodom and Gomorrah. So what I ask uh, is that you go to the nearest gun shop and equip yourself with as many handguns and rifles uh, and whatever firepower that you can get your hands on or whatever you can afford. And then after that, I want you to go directly into the city and kill every single person. Well, the atheist, of course, is probably going to sit there and go, um, wait a minute. Uh, I don't know if I, I have it up in me. I don't know if I can ethically or in any moral way do what you're telling me to do. Well, the God says, I'm the one who uh, created morality. I'm the one who created all this. So you're going to go have to do it. Now, for those out there who are listening to this wonderful, intriguing Mother Goose story, um, what do you think that a person should do? They have a vision appear in front of them that is willing to do all kinds of magical tricks to prove that it is somehow a god. What should the person do? Especially since the god has taken the time out of its busy universal schedule to show itself and also demand that genocide be done in its name as so many religions have claimed that it's done before. So what should the atheist do? Would you require that the atheist go out and murder everybody in every major populated city? Or the atheist go and get some kind of goddamn therapy and talk to someone who might be able to help them rationalize that this manifestation may have been some delusion or some kind of insane concoction that their brain chemicals just somehow got mixed up? What would you rather happen? Or would you rather the atheist just simply have faith as you do take the words of this manifestation in front of them and kill millions all the way up until the point the cops catch this person and blow their fucking brains out all over the sidewalk you let me know what you think would be the most proper way and politically correct thing to do in society if someone heard the voices and vision so before you stamp your feet and say it's dumb that if God showed up you'd question him Try thinking about this little story and how valuable it is to question everything around you, including yourself and what you think you're seeing and what you're hearing. Thank you. You've been listening to Brett Keane.